friends my name is Vicky so here I am with the new AWS video now before I go to the demo if you are here for the first time then do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notify of the new video today video we are going to learn how to transfer file from EC2 machine to the S3 bucket now for this video the things we require the first thing we need that is the EC2 machine so we are going to learn like how to create an EC2 machine the next thing which we require we require a IAM user and that IAM user need access to the S3 bucket so we are also going to see like how to create a user IAM user with the S3 permission and the last whatever the machine I'm going to create that should be connected to the internet there should be a internet connectivity if there is no internet connectivity then we are not able to do this demo so the internet connectivity is important now in this diagram you can see like there is a user who is going to log into the EC2 machine and this EC2 machine is configured with IAM user and that IAM user is with you know S3 full access and with the help of the internet connectivity we are going to connect this EC2 machine with the S3 bucket and we are going to transfer the file so not wasting much time let's start with the demo so let me go to the AWS console okay here I am in my AWS console so the first thing is I am going to create a machine EC2 machine so for that what I need to do is I need to go to the services and search for the EC2 here and once I am going to click on the EC2 I will land on this page now here I what I need to do is I need to click on the instance and from here we need to launch a new instance okay now the first thing we need to select the EMI after that I need to select the instance type so I will go with the T2 micro that is a free tier eligible right now the next in the configure instance um, I don't want to change any setting I'm going with the default setting so this machine which I am going to create, I am going to create in the default VPC and default subnet. So I am not going to change anything here. The next thing is the storage part. I don't want to change anything in the tagging. Let's give some name to this machine S3 demo. In the configure security group, um, we don't want to change anything. So let me give a name here. So SG S3 demo. and the view and launch launch now here I'm going to select a new key pair s3 demo let me download this key pair launch okay we need to go back and we need to remove the dash in between um, we are done so here the machine is in the pending state so it is going to take some time mean while what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a IAM user now for that what I need to do is I need to go to the IAM let me open this one in a new tab now here we are going to create a user so how to create a user for that we need to go to the user here we need to click on the add user and in the username whatever the user you want to give you can give the name here s3 user here I will go with the access key programmatic access okay next permission now in the third type I need to click which says attach existing policy and from here I need to select the s3 full permission Amazon s3 full access now my user is created now there is a download csv option is here we need to download this file if i am not going to download this file what will happen i will not get access to this secret key this is a one time option only if i am not going to copy this thing or if i am not going to download this thing from here i will not get this option again so it is very important that we are going to copy both the thing access key and the secret key so let me copy it somewhere or rather I would say um, 
I'm not going to copy. Let me log into my machine and configure the user. So my machine is in the running state. Now how to log into the machine? For that I'm going to grab the public IP and I will go to that location where I have my key pair downloaded. Now here I am in my download folder ssh i then the key pair name and the key pair name is s3 demo.fem and then we need to give the username at the rate whatever the IP public IP we have. Okay. Now it says unprotected private file so bad permission here the message which I am getting so to correct this message what I need to do is I need to run one command ch mod 400 and the key pair name s3 dash demo we are done and let me log in again I am able to log into the machine great now here I need to configure the user now how to configure the user from the command line for that we need to type the command aws configure and once I hit enter, it will ask me for the access key. Now from where I will get the access key? From the IM, here is my access key. Let me copy this thing. Let me paste it here. The next thing is the secret key. So where is the secret key? Here is the secret key. Let me copy this thing. Now the default region. So the region name is US East 1. So let me type US East 1. And the de default output format is always JSON. So I'm not going to enter the JSON here. But if you want, you can enter JSON like this. But I'm not going to enter it here. Now my user is configured. Now how I can check whether my user is configured correctly or not. For that, I need to run the command S3 command. Now from where I will get the S3 command? For that, I need to go to the documentation of the S3 AWS CLI S3 documentation. So AWS S3 CLI. Now here we have the official documentation from the Amazon. Now here it says, if I scroll down completely, now these are the available command for the AWS S3. Now I can use this command like CP is for the copy, LS is to list all the bucket which I have in my account, MB is to create a new bucket, MV to move, like this we have the option Let, let's suppose i need to list all the bucket so what i need to do is i need to click on this ls now here it is going to give me all the details like you can use this command aws s3 ls or you can scroll down there you will get the example listing all the user on bucket aws s3 ls so let me run this command from my terminal aws s3 ls now I'm able to call all the buckets. So let me go to the S3 bucket. So I'm in the AWS S3. Here I can see all the buckets. The same thing, you can see it from here. Now let's suppose there is one bucket that is with the name my source bucket this to T2. As of now, there is no object in, in this, right? I need to copy some of the object from my EC2 machine to this bucket now how I can do that let me go to the documentation one more time let me go back there is one CP command here copy command here it is now CP then the local path then or we need to give the local path or the bucket name something like that let me scroll down a bit here we have an example now here is the example now this is the command we need to use so how we need to use this command aws s3 cp then we need to give the file name and then the bucket name in this format s3 dot double slash and then the bucket name so let's go with this command but for that let me create something here so touch file file to ls now i have couple of files here which i need to copy from here to the s3 bucket now the command is aws s3 cp aws s3 cp then we need to give the file name so for the file name let me give file chart so that means i'm going to use both the thing and then we need to give the bucket name s3 dashes so here is the format this thing and then the bucket name 
now from where I will get the bucket name from here my source bucket t2 let me copy this thing paste it here and then we need to enter this one. Okay. are we doing something wrong aws s3 cp file let me remove this thing file 2 s3 my bucket yes i'm able to upload the file so let me check let me go to the bucket now here as of now it is not showing me anything so let me refresh this thing i'm able to see file 2 here okay now let me go to my terminal one more time and let me upload some other files so for that let me create some file touch um, let me give file 3 here and let me copy this command or let me upload this file from my ec2 to the s3 bucket done i'm able to upload this file let me refresh this thing yes file 3 so this is how we can upload the file from our ec2 machine to the s3 bucket I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.